right guys welcome to our second vlog so today I just want to kind of introduce the channel and introduce myself and sort of what we're going to be expecting for the channel uh, this is actually vlog number two uh, the original vlog for or the first vlog I should say um, is under edit so that's yet to be released and it's very exciting because I uh, have a fun little surprise there I, I don't know if you're aware of Akira Nakai-san he is a Japanese cartooner uh, former car racer uh, he's modifies cars specifically Porsches uh, previously he worked on a lot of JDM old Japanese cars like Toyota A86 uh, but uh, he moved over to German cars, Porsches in particular, which he had a big affinity for. In any case, um, I got a chance to visit him while he was here in Canada. He's still here in Canada. But uh, last weekend, got a chance to go check him out while he worked. So there's some footage there and clips of getting to talk to and meet Nakai-san. Uh, getting an autograph from him, but mainly the footage is actually surrounded around him working on the vehicle itself. So check that out. If you don't know who Nakai-san is, definitely check him out. Search RWB, um, Rao Welt Begriff, which is his tuning company, Porsche tuning company. And uh, he modifies these vehicles, and they're really, really cool. Uh, so it was great to see the legend sort of do his thing, you know, in person and in the flesh. Uh, he's a very, very talented individual. You could definitely tell he's got a lot of experience doing this sort of thing. You know, he just kind of eyeballs it, and it's really fantastic to kind of see him uh, work. I'm going to quickly uh, introduce uh, the channel. It's uh, Control-Alt-Moto, so thanks a lot for jumping in and, and viewing this with us. This here is our second vlog. Um, the first vlog to be released soon and they will be titled as such actually uh, so keep a lookout for more coming from the channel essentially the channel will revolve around motorcycle reviews maybe some moto vlogs we'll also have motorcycle gear reviews and that sort of thing uh, quickly to introduce the bike that I'm on it's a 2000 Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R known as the J1 uh, it's a fantastic bike. It's in great condition, even after all these years. And as you can see in the video, I am uh, riding with a buddy. And so he's on a R9T, BMW R9T. So check that out if you're curious. Uh, we could do some reviews on both of these bikes and get you some more information on them. So this particular bike was actually my brother's old bike and it was sitting in our garage for a very long time without being in use and I figured you know uh, I've been on the fence about getting a motorcycle and getting my motorcycle license and all that and previously had been trying to get more involved and get hands-on with cars and that sort of stuff uh, so doing my own sort of automotive tuning and repairs and that sort of thing whenever and wherever I could uh, building out um, Honda Civic EG, uh, unfortunately don't have that anymore, or tuning and racing a Golf R, uh, I don't have that anymore. And uh, now the focus is on uh, motorcycles, so really excited to, to bring you some good content, hopefully. Uh, this is my first season as a rider, and I mean, just look at this beautiful scenery around us here, but as we ride through, uh, but in any case, first season as a rider. And I've been really enjoying it. So, you know, I'm still learning. So I'll take, uh, take that for what it is. And uh, hopefully, you know, if you are also a beginner, then we can kind of grow and learn together. Uh, but if you have some insights on things uh, that I could do differently or better, please let me know. That includes anything to do with, you know, the videos themselves and the content that is presented. I'm happy to hear about it in the comments section. And uh, let's see how we can kind of grow this channel out. So I got to let you know, uh, me personally, I'm all about the uh, AT-GAT as it's so called, so all the gear all the time. You can tell here I've got a Heelite vest on, I always trying to have at least a Heelite vest on. 
and on top of my armored jackets or armored sweaters, that sort of stuff. Yes, it's a little costly, but it's definitely worth it to have that sort of peace of mind as you kind of cruise through and look at this beautiful scenery. You don't have to worry about, you know, road rash or you have that added protection there, which is fantastic. Um, I wanted to quickly introduce sort of some basics um, when it comes to riding. Definitely recommend everybody take uh, classes or courses, motorcycle courses. Uh, get yourself set up properly that way and, you know, kind of learn the basics from professionals who are educated on how to teach you and have the patience and the motorcycles there present for you to practice on. It's a fun little weekend. You can go and uh, maybe you and a buddy can go and get your licenses together. Uh, they often have deals and it's not very expensive. You can go and get the basics under your belt so you can go out and uh, have a rip without uh, damaging anything, yourself or the bike or otherwise. That's essentially it. Uh, I wanted to quickly introduce the bike, this uh, awesome little ZX6R, uh, awesome throttle control, you know, very easy to kind of learn on. I was very nervous when I started out, you know, worried about starting on a 600cc, but honestly if you respect the bike and sort of the power that it holds and you're sort of able to maintain a level head and stay responsible, then it's pretty good. And you know, you kind of learn the throttle control, you know, and, and what kind of uh, power comes out at which rev range. So I've been sort of playing around with that, which has been really, really cool. The clutch is very easy to use, uh, honestly, no issues. Even getting the bike started up again, it, it's, uh, it's a carbureted bike, it's not fuel injected. And so it was, it was uh, interesting to kind of take everything apart, take the fuel tank off, I changed out the fuel filter. I, uh, it's got all, pretty much all original or stock parts, pretty much, um, or, or OEM replacement parts, if there were anything that needed to be replaced, such as uh, I changed the you know, clutch handle and the, and the uh, brake handle, front brake handle. Otherwise, yeah, I took apart the carbs, tried to clean it out the best I could. Uh, got it working, got it running, but then it wouldn't it wouldn't idle properly, so there were some issues there. But as you can see, it's running beautifully now, and I, you know, I did have to take it to a mechanic shop nearby, and they they did their thing. I believe they did a, a general synchro on the carbs there, get everything working up properly, just doing the uh, basics that needed to be done. Got new tires put on there, and, and that sort of thing to get it safety and get it in working condition. Here we are riding and we bump into another fellow rider, you know, say a quick hello, wish them safe journeys. And then uh, we go ahead and continue to, to rip on a little bit. I'm going to let the let you hear the bikes. Well, the bike is what I meant. So. That's the, that's the intro to the uh, channel here. Uh, thanks a lot for dropping by. If you've stuck around this long, appreciate a subscribe and follow. Uh, you can check out the Instagram channel by the same name, Control Alt Moto, and appreciate the support there. All right, guys, I'll uh, leave you here. Enjoy this last minute of just some nice music. Wow, a cruise. Stay safe out there, and all the best.